Douglas Stone. This is Mike. How may I help you? Hey, hey, Mike. What's the uh, what's the situation like on the doors down there? How do how do those go at the speedway? What do you mean on the doors? Well, like what kind of there's you know how there's different kinds of doors. If you go to a fancy building, they might have a revolving door. There's the type that um, you can push on them, and then they'll like go inwards to open up in, inside. And then there's ones okay. where you got to pull on them with a handle. They pull and out. then one time I saw okay. ones where it had like a little camera on them and it could it could sense your presence there and it just slide right on open without you having to touch anything. Okay, they pull out. Oh, what? That's they not an effective. Our doors pull Sir, out. pulling out is not an effective method. So how would you what would you expect? How would you like to enter our building? Um, is there a back door maybe you could prop that open for me? No. Can you prop open the front door or a side door or something, like an employee no, entrance? No, I'll provide you gloves if that's what you're requesting. Well, no, I'm just saying, you know, I don't I don't know how doors, you know, you got to push on them or pull on them or, and it, I don't know. I'm kind of high. Okay. Is that going to, yeah, well, is that, need, okay. So if you, yes, yeah, so I have customers I need to wait on. Um, can I speak with one of, gloves, can I speak to one of the customers, please? Can I speak to one of the customers, no, please? I want to ask them about the door. Customers. How do I know you're not lying about the door? Thank you again. How's the helper? This is Marta. How am I assist you? Hey, Marta. I had a question um, just regarding how you guys are doing business practices, what with everything that's going on out there in the world today. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, what? Um, what? No, no, no. It was a very specific question. I don't want to waste your time or anything. I was just wondering, what are your general best practices right now regarding um, the mints? The, I'm sorry, the what? The mints. Well, I'm sorry, what are you referring oh, to? Like when, when you go and then you've stayed there and then you leave and you come back and the maid has cleaned the room and she leaves a little chocolate mint on the pillow. Okay. What's the situation there? What's the best well, practice? We are actually, we are, are just uh, open for the essential employees. What does that so mean? I can't that say that. That means that only doctors, nurses, um, the people that help uh, with the situation. Um, so we are not open to public. Why are you answering the phone, though? I'm sorry? I, 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 well, can you, are you giving the doctors and the nurses mints, or what's going on there, then, I guess? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure. Um, do you, I can t- uh, transfer you to our uh No, well, HR? no, do you, do you know, well, I don't want to talk to HR. I don't want to talk to HR. I want to yeah. talk to grounds but on I'm, the I'm, I'm not, like I'm not you. sure where like you're getting you. you're, this question. I just want to know. I'm just trying to gather. I'm yeah, we're operating as a normal hotel, as we used to, just uh, open not to the public, just to the essential workers. Okay. Are you putting mints okay. on their pillows after you clean their room? That's the only question. It's not a big deal. It's not we a national that, secret. Sir. Okay. There yeah. you go. Okay. okay. So you're My a piece pleasure. of trash. Mo- okay. I got it. All right. Thank you. I love you. Thanks for calling Hilton Orlando, Altamont Springs, where a sensational. Thank you for calling the Hilton Altamont Springs. This is John, I'm assist you. Hi, yeah. Do we have like a limit on how many cars we can have in the parking lot, like per guest? No. No, no sir. Like, there's no hard limit on that. Like, as many, mm-hmm. like it. I mean, I, I'm talking about like vehicles in motion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, as as long as you don't have like a hundred vehicles coming with you. Oh no, it's it's it should be it's a it's a twelve right now. We might get a thirteen one, but I think we're gonna run run with twelve. Yeah, that's that's fine. Our parking lot's big yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah, we, we'll be running twelve cars out there today. Okay. Oh wait, are you staying here today? Oh, I want like one of the drivers is, but then everybody else is just kind of meeting up there. We're closed. The hotel's closed. Closed? Oh, I thought they were mm-hmm. staying there. Is the meet? The, I think we're still doing the the driving there. Then maybe that's our thirteenth one. He's not coming then. Mm, yeah. Um, the parking lot in the hotel is closed right now until June first. No, I mean the park. The parking lot's closed. Yeah. N- yeah. Nobody's, nobody's. You just said it was there. open though. You said there was no limit on guests or anything or like that. Yeah, during normal operations. So it's like totally closed, like we can't drive in there? Uh, if you do, the cops will be here in like a half a second. <laughs> They're patrolling the property. Half a second? Well, we're not going in, though. Like, just the parking lot. Yeah, they they are staged in the parking lot. 
they come can you just, ca- yeah, just call them, let them know that, like, yeah, we'll just be doing some driving. Just be doing some uh, laps. No. I, I can't we, authorize we, it. We, oh, no, we just got to get, oh, you can authorize it. You're at the hotel. Uh, we got to get no. some laps in uh, today. No. We got to set no. some lap times. Um, no, right, like, not, uh, not, like the cops, if the cops want to come set some times too, they can. I mean, they just got like we just got you know social distancing and everything, but we'll get some lap times set today. No, I can't, I can't do that. What do you mean you can't do? You, I mean you can too. I mean I don't know if you're interested. Like I know what kind of vehicle you got if you want to partake. I mean that's no, up to you. No, no. I, I. What do you mean? Have the, I can't have anyone on property. I don't know. We're not in the property. This is just the parking lot. This, this will be fine. Property. It, what do you mean? Fine. No, it's just a parking lot. Pa- parking lot, though. Okay. Well, if if you do come on property, the the cops will will be here, though. So. Okay. It'll be fine. They can race too. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fun. Okay. If if that's if that's how how you want to see it, that's fine. Well, I think it should be fine. I mean, well, why wouldn't it be? I'm saying not fine because the hotel is closed. No, the parking lot. That's part of the hotel. That's our property. No, it's not. No, not, th- this is not part of the hotel. That's the parking lot. That's that's silly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you show up, just let you know the cops will be. On no, the- you're just being silly now. Come on, Nick. There's no cops. You're- okay. Well, you have a great day. Stop. Then. Stop it. You're silly. Good evening, and thank you for contacting the Book Raton Resort and Club. My name is Tom. How may I assist you? Oh, are you a real person? Jesus, you sound beautiful. <laughs> no, yes, I am a real person. Oh, right. Okay. I'm just wondering, um, you guys are still open and everything, right? Uh, no, we're uh, the only thing that's open right now is for our club members, which Perfect. is a Perfect. curbside uh, dining. Okay. Um, I was just with I'm with the Pipecast, and I was wondering. I just need to get like um, I'm I'm sure you can let me in like through the side door or something. You can prop that open, and then I'm just gonna need to get like one of the um, housekeeping keys, like one of the maids' keys. What do you guys call them? Um, for, for what? I'm confu- I'm sorry, I'm confused. Oh, for the pipe cast. And then that way I can go up. And there's no one in the room, so you don't got to worry about me, like, doing anything illicit, like touching on people's things or anything. Um, I'll just, you know, for the pipe cast. I'll go up into the into the rooms. And, like, you know how they have the wires, like, behind the outlets in the wall? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me yeah, transfer yeah, you yeah, to security. Yeah. Uh, let me transfer no, you oh, security. Wait, no, 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 no. I don't need security. I just need you to, like, if... <sighs> Can, do you have one of the maids' keys there at the front? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, sir, you, you'll have to uh, call no, again and talk to somebody else. Issue. Okay, then transfer me to security. Don't be a little bit. Okay, Just transfer perfect. me. Thank you. Good evening, security. Mel speaking. Hey, Mel. Um, who is it at the front desk? I want to say Brandon. Oh, I'm so bad with, with names. But um, he said that we were all good to go. I just needed to talk to Mel and security to get one of the maid's keys. I'm and Mel and just... security. Exactly. Yeah, we just need your rubber stamp on this one, and then I'll be able to do the pipe cast. Uh, who is this, sir? My name is Brad Shirty. And you're with what department? What? No, I'm with the pipe cast. We're going to go up and go in the rooms, and we're going to do um, all throughout the different rooms, and we'll do the pictures and everything. And then I was telling him, you know how if you rip out on the wall, if you rip out the panels, there's wires back behind there? Yes. Yeah, with those, too. Okay. Uh, sir, is this the, your, the phone number you can be contacted at, 231-247-0069? Two, 247 Yes, that's correct. Okay, just a moment. Don't hang up. Let me just copy Whoa, that down. What are, whoa, what are we doing? What's going on? Well, I'm going to have my supervisor give you a call. What? No, well, I don't have call waiting. Uh, where do, he's going to call you. He's going to call you back. What are, but wait, I know. Just, I just need your rubber stamp on this issue so I can get the key to do the pipe cast. It's for the, I under, it's for the internet. It's on the internet. I understand, but I don't, I'm going to have my supervisor give you the rubber stamp. No, it, I... Okay, who Brandon at the front specifically said Mel, so I don't know what the hell's going on here. Uh, okay, I'm going to have my supervisor call you. Have him call Brandon, and then Brandon can call you, and then we'll get a three- or a four-way call going. Uh, sir, I'm just going to have him I'm just gonna have him call you, okay? Well, I don't want to use up my minutes. Do you know if he has Boost Mobile? I don't know. Because if he has Boost Mobile, he can just dial star eight, and then it'll go right to my mailbox. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Uh, you know what I'll do? I'll, uh, I don't even know what he has. 
But uh, I will oh, give him. Oh, is he on like uh, AOL Instant Messenger or MSN or anything? Oh, sir, I don't, I don't know that. Okay, I'll, I'll have him give you a call. Jesus. All right, have him text me. Have him text me. Okay. Doesn't use up. Okay, thank you. I love you. Thank you for calling Hilton Clearwater Beach Resort and Spa. How may I take your call? Hey, you guys are not open for um, guests right now, are you? Uh, we are open for guests, but uh, oh, the beach goodness. is closed, the pool is closed, and all of our venues are closed. Except is there, for Starbucks. Are, what is your? Um, are you at high occupancy right now? No, no, we aren't. Okay, that's perfect because I, I mean, I'll get a room. I was assuming you'd be closed, and we could just do this like as a, as like a business type arrangement but i mean if you guys are open i have no problem renting one room but i'm I'm trying to do for like um for a pipe cast for the internet and everything and i just wanted to get into like multiple rooms and you know how they have um the wires yeah we'll hook into those in the different rooms okay um did did you want to speak with reservations or? what wait what was your name uh andrew Andrew, no, we're ready to roll right now. If you could just, is there like an employee entrance or a side door or something you could prop open? Uh, yeah, give me one minute. No, 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 no. Anthony, please. Anthony? I feel like he's, hello? I fucked it up good. Tax quit making so much fucking noise. Jeez. Hello. Please leave a message after the. Call in places that just had tornadoes and stuff, right? <laughs> Georgia and down there. Thank you, three on the road. This is Shania. May I help you? Hi. I need to pick up the red pen. Can you repeat that, please? I need to come down there and pick up the red pen. The red pen. Yeah, the red one. Pick up a red pen? What's that mean? Yep. Pick up no, a red I, I, was t- I need to come down there and pick up the red pen. Speedway on Linden Corona, how can I help you? Hey, uh, you guys have the spool of red thread down there, like the red string? I'm going to need that back. We we do? Yes, definitely. And I got to um I got to get that. Can you locate it for me and put it up by the front? I don't want to be in there too long. I don't want you guys like digging around, oh, we don't have it and all that crap. I know you guys have it and I need it back, please. I'm sorry. Um, can I ask who this is? My name is Brad and I need the uh it's like a spool of red string. One one moment. Hurry up. Sir, are you sure it's at the, uh, the Linden and Corona Yep, location? Linden. That's the one. Yep. I'm unsure if we do have it. I We've you never do. seen... Where were you looking? Like in the lost and found? Because that's not where it's going to be. It's not a lost and found item. We don't have a lost and found. Good, because it wouldn't be in there. Right. We don't have a lost and found. And neither myself or my coworkers have seen a spool of red thread. No, he took it, and he put it back in, like, the cooler area. Who's who's he? Who's the gentleman? Where is he? Uh, can, you just, can you describe him for me, please? Well, um, this is going to sound weird, but you know how, like, I'm sure you've been to Taco Bell. Do you know how they, like, have that, that kind of distinctive seasoning smell? Like Taco yeah, Bell beef? I, I, Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, he smelled like Taco Bell. Um, he had hair, and he was wearing a mustache and shoes. Hey, you are. Sorry about that. I'll be right back. And he took the thread from me, and he put it there in the cooler. In the cooler as in the beer The mustache cake? man. Yeah, he went back in there. The mustache man. He went back there. He had the string with him, and he put it up on top. Round back. Are you in the cooler? Yes, I am, okay. and I'm looking. 
you don't see it. No, I, I don't. Maybe if you call its name, call it out. Say, hello, String, where are you, String? Come here, String. Like that. Call out for the strings. They might be hiding. Um. Well, no, sir, I don't Go like see that. A... Go, no, call out to them. Say their name and see if they respond. You mean the co-worker? No, the string. I'm not going to do that, sir. No, just say, hello, Miss, hello, string. String, are you there? Like that. I'm not going to say that, sir. Why not? Um, we don't, because I don't want Well, I mean, if you think about it, you're already in the cooler instead of taking customers, and you're looking around for a spool of red thread. You you might as well call out for it at this point. You know what I mean? All right, well, I'm going to let you go. Okay, I love you. I love you. What? I said I love you. What, you got a problem with that? You got a problem with that or something? All right, I'm going to hang up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, 7-Eleven, may I help you? Hi, I have kind of a kind of a situation, but I um I'm not I, I but I kind of don't. I'm I'm hoping that maybe you guys could be the ones to help me out here. So, where you are right now? Well, we just got home, and now we put we put the like as per the instruction video, we put the Mentos in the Diet Coke, and now we just have a big mess. I don't know, bro. What are you talking about? It's a it's a it's a Seven Eleven. Like what? Like what kind well, of we, help you need it? We bought the Diet Coke and we did all the things with it, and now there's a big mess. Uh, I was kind of hoping for a do over. So can you come over here, bro? I can help you. Like, I have a lot of customers in the in front of me. You can no, you I can need a do-over, though. Huh? I, just, class, I, just, uh, I need you to give me a do-over. Huh? I need a do-over. Just give, just give me my stuff again. I just need a do-over. I don't know, bro. What are you talking about? Can you come over here? I have, I have to take a yeah. customer, bro. They are looking at me. I don't know. What, I also either know what you're talking about. Oh, like, the, what one, kind of no, the one that's looking at you. Yeah, that's the guy. That's him. I need to talk to him. That's, oh, that's the guy. I need The one that's looking at you. He's waiting for a call. No, no. No one said me he's waiting for a call. No, that's why he's looking at you. That's the, here, here, Just give him the phone. No, 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 no one is right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, just give him the phone. That's okay. Ready? I know, that's why he, he's staring at you because you're on the phone. You need to give him the phone. So, uh, if he's staring me, give him phone, then I'm going to give him. No one said me to give me a phone, bro. No, him the phone. Give him the phone. Not, no, yeah, I need to talk to him. Huh? Yeah, they, I they are like a small guy. How I can give the phone? Yeah, just give him the phone. Is it a small guy? What? I said, <laughs> it's a small guy. I can't give him the phone. What? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of Indian guys. Hi, this is uh, Speedway on Marklin in Washington. Hi, uh, would you guys let someone use the phone if they needed to make a call in there? Uh, yeah, I'm sure we could do that. All right, cool. Uh, would it be cool if we came in there and made a few prank calls from the phone? Um, no, no, that's... <laughs> Why not? No, I'm sorry, man, you can't, you can't do that. <laughs> oh, just a couple, come on. I just don't want them to get mad, you know, it's just a gas station, they won't get mad at you. This is this is the most confusing call I've, I've ever had. Um, well, no, but I'm sure you could dial the um, well, right. Star 67 if you wanted. No, no, I tell you what, I tell you what. I, I, I mean, just come in there and just use the phone. Forget forget why. Don't sorry, what was that? I, I, I couldn't hear you, I'm sorry. Just forget I told you why, why I needed to make a couple phone calls. Just don't worry about it. I'm just going to come in there and make a couple normal phone calls. Um... I'm I'm sorry, sir. We we can't do that. My my bad. You could, you you could. I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you could. 
I, I respect it, though. I respect it. Uh, I'm sorry. Though. Come on. I think I All think right, you I gotta go, man. man. I you gotta go. Make some, just make some calls. Okay. Yeah. I got it. I want to do it. What's up? Hey, um, that phone that that you just answered right now, does it make like outgoing phone calls too? Do you like do you have an outgoing line? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, can I come in there? Would it be alright if I used the phone just to make a few prank phone calls? No. Why not? Everyone's been doing it lately since everyone's all like, lo- hello. Hey, can I come in there and use your guys' phone to uh, make a few prank phone calls? No. Why not? Because. What do you mean? Because I, I don't want them to, like, call back to this. No, this is my real number. I don't want them to call back to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, we can't do that. Why not? Sorry. See ya. Have a good day. No, hold no, on. You hold can't. on. Hold on. Does your phone make outgoing calls? Yes. Then we could do it. No, we can't. Yeah, I can. All I right, got, I got All right. gloves and All right. stuff. It's Bye. fine. I have hand sanitizer. Arby's and Arnold, how can we help you? Hey, is the lobby open for pickup? No. Our lobby's closed. You have to come through the drive-thru. You have to come through the drive-thru? Ah, oh, man. Um, all right, if it came through the drive-thru, would it be possible to, like, use the phone at all? No, we we don't have a public phone. No, I mean, just, like, real quick, like, because you know you can't come in? Like, I don't know if there's a pay phone. I'm sorry? There's no pay phone? No, we don't have a public phone. Oh, uh, I mean, just, like, real quick, just let me use the phone. We're not allowed to do that, I'm sorry. Why? We don't have a well, public phone. No, it's this phone. This phone. I want to use this phone. Aren't you calling from a phone? Yes, but I want to use this phone later. Like, I won't have this phone when I buy that phone. I'm going to have a different phone. I don't have that phone. Okay, we don't have a public phone. I'm so sorry about no. that. No, I want to use your phone. That phone was terrible. I didn't want to use your phone. That was a lie. It was horrible. Hello, this is Arby's and Belton. How may I help you? Hey, I got kind of a weird question. Do you know if there is a pay phone in the area there by that Arby's at all? Uh, there, I believe there is not a pay phone, uh, but I think shoot. there's a high V near us that might let you no. use their customer service phone or well, something. Well, okay, how about this? Can I come in real quick? I know you, are your guys' lobby is closed, right? Our lobby's closed. We're not allowed okay, to let good, anyone good, good. in. Right, right, right. No, I'm not a customer. I just need to use the phone real quick to make a few prank no, phone no, calls. No, no, no. We're not allowed to let anyone in that's not working at all. Otherwise, it's a health code violation. And no, we get no. I'm not going to be eating. I'm not going to be eating, and I'll wash my no, hands sir, I, and everything. No, I, I understand. I'm not allowed to let anyone in, no, I just, whether I, if they're if eating a, or not. Ma'am, ma'am, if there was a pay phone, I'd use it, but there isn't one, so, like, my hands are kind of tied here. You know what I mean? Like, I really okay, got to yes, use a my, phone. Sir, my hands are call. tied, too. I can't do it. If I let you in and someone sees and says that they let someone in that doesn't work here, they can call the health code, and I will get my store shut down. Oh, I'm not going to tell. Are you? No, but if someone in the drive through sees me let you in. Oh, do you have, like, a Arby's, like, a hat? I could wear that or a shirt, and I'll wear it when I'm in there making the phone sir, call. Sir, I'm sorry, no one but will I know. cannot That's help perfect. you. There's Hy-Vee, there's, cute, there's Quick Trip, there's a whole bunch of fast stations near no, us that might man. be able to I help you, call but from I the can't Arby's. let you in. Listen, because I'm going to call, I want, I'm trying to do some prank phone calls, and I was going to call and say, hi, this is Arby's, where's your, where's your sandwich? <laughs> like that, you know? Uh-huh. So I wanted to call from the Arby's, so if they have caller ID, because I don't want this phone number to show up on a prank phone call, because then someone... I could get in trouble. I don't want that. I wanted to use your phone. <laughs> Thank you for calling your local Denny's. This is Stephanie. How can I serve you? Stephanie, I'm calling from the Arby's. Where is your sandwich? I'm sorry? I'm calling from Arby's, the restaurant. I'm wondering yes. where is your sandwich? What's going on? Okay, Stephanie? I'm sorry. Stephanie? I'm not sure. What's your... Stephanie. 
Yes. Where's your sandwich? This is Arby's. Where's your sandwich? Okay, thank you for calling. Jesus Christ, Stephanie. Can you put a manager on? Hey, Schwartz, this is my Marmot, listen, I'm calling from the Arby's. My name is Mike. Where is your sandwich? Uh-huh. Where's my what? Where's your sandwich? This is Arby's calling. Where's your sandwich? What's going on down there? What do you mean? I need to know. Where's your sandwich? I'm Arby's. This is Arby's calling. Do you know what do you know what Arby's is? Do you know what Arby's is? We make roast beefs yeah, and we have the Jamocha shake and everything. Right. Yeah, where's your sandwich? Where's Not your sandwich uh, your, Jesus. The sandwich? Can you put the manager on? You don't know what the hell's going on, do you? <laughs> Shackleford, how may I assist you? Hi, I'm calling from Arby's and I can't find the sandwich. Seriously? I need a, uh, yeah, can you tell me where the sandwich is? This is a place of business, not a place for jokes. You need a place to order with yeah. Denny's, I'll be go- I'm glad to help you. But this is Denny's, yeah, not uh, Arby's. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I need to know where the sandwich is. I need you to get real. Um, bringing as real as I can, I need to know where the sandwich is. Time is money. Come on, let's this? go. How about this? <laughs> Ooh. I'm calling Denny's on state line. It's PJ. How may I serve you? PJ, you said? Yes. Okay. My name is George. I'm the manager at the Arby's. Um, I have got all the paperwork right here. Um, I'm looking at everything with your phone number on it, too. I just can't... Um, wh- uh, where is your sandwich? What do you mean, sandwich? Where's your sandwich? I'm calling... This is Arby's. Where is your sandwich? You want to talk to the manager? Oh, I thought I was. I'm sorry, PJ. No. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you. Oh, you're fine. Tell her. Tell her it's Arby's, and we need to know where's the sandwich. All right. Arby's. Arby's. Hello, this is Kathy. How may I serve you? Hey, Kathy. Are you the manager? Yes. Okay, this is Arby's, and I have all the paperwork. I just need to know where's your sandwich. Will you repeat that one more time? Where's your sandwich? This is an Arby's. Right, right. No, I'm Arby's. I'm George. I'm the manager at Arby's. So, what are my sandwiches? No, where's the sandwich? Your, yeah, where's your sandwich? Uh, our sandwich. Where's your, yeah, where's your sandwich? This is Arby's. Where's your sandwich, please? On the... Up here, Denny's. Okay. What are they I'm not saying? understanding is that what the, you're making. Is that the radio in the background? What are they saying? I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. They're saying Sorry. It. Probably not for him. Anyway, um, no, I'm the manager. I got the paperwork. Everything's here. I got all the signatures that I needed already. I don't need any of that. It's all handled. I have all the businesses done. I just need to know where's the sandwich. Where's your sandwich? What do you mean where's the sandwich? On the paperwork? No, I have the paperwork. I don't know where your sandwich is. This is Arby's. I'm Arby's. Where's Arby's. your sandwich? Our sandwich is here at Danny's. No, ma'am, that's not what I mean. Does that make any sense at all? No. No. Where's your sandwich? <laughs> it's at Denny's. No, I'm Arby's. You're Denny's. I need I know. to know. I said the sandwich is at Denny's. God damn it. That's not what I mean. Man. <laughs> Hi, I just need to know what uh, ingredients do you put in just like the plain omelet? Um, we don't just have a plain omelet. We have a build your own where you can pick the ingredients that you want. Well, yeah, I, I, um, omelet of no ingredients. Uh, yeah, the omelet, no ingredients. Uh, like just what, like what's in it? If like the there's base no ingredients. ingredients in it, all it is is just cheese. Just a cheese omelet. 
cheese, cheese, and what? That's mm-hmm. it. It's just cheese, cheese, and yep. I'm assuming yep. there's, there's no eggs. Eggs. Well, yes, of course. Yeah. Okay, we got cheese and eggs. Now, what else do we got to mix up the omelet? Uh, it depends on what you want. We have several different. No, I mean, because right now we got cheese and eggs, and that like right now it's just like scrambled eggs and cheese. So like, I need to know what ingredients do you put in there? Like, what do you put like a like a like a sprinkle, like a like a powder or some kind of some kind of uh, substance that pow- makes it I, no that makes it that makes it the omelet. It's just eggs. No, no, no. Like the, the, I know it's I know there's eggs in it, but I need to know what makes it the omelet. Like why you call it the omelet, and like I need to know what's in it. Hello. I need to know what's uh, uh, the ingredients in the omelet. Denny's and Lehigh. This is Carrie. How can I help you? Hey, Carrie, we got a little problem. I got an order, um, like, uh, to, what do you call it, to go or pick up or delivery or whatever. Um, uh-huh. And there's a, there's a salad in there. Um, what, are you guys, like, what, you don't have the right ingredients or something? Is this, like, a substitution, or what's going on here? Are you trying to pull one um, on me? Let's see. So when when was the order made? Well, I'm looking at this salad here, and it's, like, it's it's mostly lettuce. So, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Why you give me just like a thing of lettuce and ugh, it's all greens? Okay, so when when was this? When did it's you a place bunch of your green order? leaves? It's a bunch of green leaves. I mean, there's other stuff mixed in with it, but it's mostly green leaves, mostly lettuce. Okay, so can you tell me when you got the order? I don't like so to I reveal can... too much personal information. It was like maybe an hour and a half ago. Are you sure that you have the right location? Because I have been here since, like, 2 o'clock, and I ha- have not had an order with a salad, and I definitely didn't Well, then what the salad. fuck is this? I thought it was a salad. What is it? Sir, I think you have the, the wrong location. Well, I'm a little bit high. I mean, but that doesn't mean that I can't dial a phone, right? What's your problem? You've got to making... be fucking kidding me right now. Well, you're making accusations that I don't know how to dial a phone right, and that's just that's <clears> unfounded. <throat> Okay, so if you can't tell me when you made the order, I have no way of looking hour, up the order. Hour and a half ago. Wait, can you give me, was it a side salad? Ah, shit, you're telling me it's not even a salad. I don't know, ma'am. It's like a thing of lettuce. It's okay, mostly bye. lettuce. It's mostly lettuce. Thank you for calling Denny's and Mitchell. How can I help you? Hey, I was wondering if, like, the whole the quarantine rules and everything, does that apply for, like, um... Uh, like people that are like uh, high on, like they're on drugs or like they drank too much or anything like that. Like I'm just want to know if the rules Wait. are any different. What was that? Like when people come, Sorry. like would you know, like back before people would like come in there to like sober up, you know, at the end of the night. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, is that still okay? Like we just we just can't come come in there, obviously. But I mean, like we just have to take it to go. But I mean, like it's okay to be like. Uh, a little drunk and maybe a little high on some drug, like you know, just like, just like normal. But oh, we're taking it to go. Honey, you you can come sit on the benches outside, order some food, sober up. It don't matter. Oh no, we can take it to go. Like we'll sober up at home, but we want to make sure we can come in there all fucked up and like it's it, that's okay. Oh yeah, I don't mind. It's just, it's just me and my, my me and my manager and my cook. Okay, because we just want to make sure we get our sandwich and everything. Yeah, would you like to place an order? Oh, no, we got to go drink first. Well, have a good time. You want me to bring you anything? Like, I can get you, like, like I want, they're not supposed to do it, but I can get you a little to-go one. I can sneak it out. <laughs> nah, I'm I'm cool, dude. You're you're awesome. What's your name? This place, this place is Frank. I, I, this place has really good Bloody Marys. They have it in the to-go cup. <laughs> Hell, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm all right. Okay, I'll get you. Get, I'll get you a big beefy from uh, Bloody Mary from Frank. All right, I, I'll be. I'll be waiting for that Bloody Mary from Frank. Just come uh, down to I the love you, pal. All right, thanks, we'll see you soon. Thanks, baby. Well, we hey, we close it. We close at ten now. Oh shit! All right, well, hurry up. All right, thanks, baby, honey, baby, love you. <laughs> Ciao, hon. Bye. Thank you for calling Denny's on 12th Street. This is Jackie. I'm going to serve you. Are you guys doing the pickup for delivery there? Um, delivery, delivery for pickup for a pickup. 
Delivery. You, delivery, you would have to do it online at denny's.com. No, not delivery, not delivery. I'm sorry. Maybe I pick up okay. for delivery. Maybe delivery for pickup. However, it's listed in the computers down there. It's fine with me. So you want to come pick it up? No. No. You want to deliver it to you? No. It's a pickup for delivery or a delivery for pickup. <sighs> come on. Is there someone down there who's uh, maybe worked there for a couple of months or something that I could speak with? I've worked here for a year. Okay. No, I want for it to get ready, and then when they go and they take it with the delivery, and the man will go. But when he gets here, I can ride with him, and then when we come back, I could get the Uber. Just standard. Please. One grand slam. Can I have butter rather than the margarine? Sunny side up on the eggs. Does that come with the drink? No, it doesn't. Let me get an orange juice then on the side. Now, what are the rules for riding with the driver? Can I bring a guest or no? <laughs> well, that you would have to call DoorDash. They're the ones that do that. Or Uber or whoever you want to go through. No, I'm banned. I'm banned from that. I was, no. I was trying to hack the system. Yeah. Yeah. You can't do that. They got mad. Because I had it and then I would set the um, cost to a negative amount. So the the delivery man would show up and he'd give me food and like a $50 bill. And they caught on pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. 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 What, are you do- what are you doing later? <laughs> Working. <laughs> well, I meant like after work because, you know... I mean, we can't, we're not, the governor and the Mr. President said not to, um, we're not allowed to shake hands or anything, but you could call me on the phone after work. We could, do you have Nintendo? <laughs> we could play Mario Kart or Animal Crossing or something. I wish I had a Nintendo. Those were the days. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. Maybe when this clears up, we could go down to the arcade and do a couple of rounds of air hockey. Hey, maybe we can. Okay. All right. I love you. I'll call you back. I love you. Bye. Good night, baby. Okay. Hi, thank you for calling Denny's Norm. This is Zach. Can I serve you? Hi, yeah, I'm calling for the uh, illegal speakeasy in the in the basement. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, we're not supposed to talk about that. Oh, uh, how am I supposed to? Uh, I'm sorry. I I just got told about it today. I'm sorry. Uh, well, I, that I, yeah, is, I'm. That is they just too told bad. Me to call it is really on a need to know basis. They said I have to call for the password. Uh, I would have to give you the password for that in person. I would have to, you know, give you the look down, make sure that you're okay, make sure you're not a cop. Okay. Um, I mean, just go down there? Yeah. All right, do, I, do I have to ask for anybody in particular? Um, no. Okay. So, and then I'm supposed to say, um, my, my, oh, the co- my code name is Arby's and I need a sandwich. I that, forgot that about that works. part. Huh? Said so that works. All right, cool. I'll be down in a little bit. Okay, sounds good. All right, thanks. Of course. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you for calling your Blackfoot Arby's. How can I help you today? Hi, Arby's. How you doing? Good. Um, okay, this is going to sound a little bit odd, but I already spoke to McDonald's, and they told me that I'd have to settle it with you rather than them. So earlier today, I had purchased a Big Mac from the McDonald's, and it was a little bit under-seasoned, I guess, a little bit dry. And I had with me a package of Arby's horsey sauce in my car. I had added that to the Big Mac, and it turns out that the Arby's sauce had been spoiled. So it ruined my sandwich, and I just need to get a replacement, like uh, uh, the amount for to go back over to McDonald's and get a new Big Mac that doesn't have expired sauce on it. Um, let me have you talk to somebody with a little more authority than me. Well, but do you see what I'm saying? Now, it was a McDonald's sandwich, but it was an Arby's sauce, so it's probably your, you know, you got on you guys, right? Well, I mean. Because the big the big know. Mac was I, good. It was the Arby's horsey sauce that was sour. It had gone sour on me. I don't know how long it had been in the car. 
Okay, give me a moment. Hi, how are you? Did she explain the situation with the sauce packet? Uh, she kind of explained the situation. Um, okay. Do you want to elaborate a little bit? Well, I had gone to McDonald's and I got a Big Mac. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, the Big Mac, the number one. I, I apologize. I don't usually go there. I thought it was a little bit dry, and I thought that adding a little bit of the Arby's horsey sauce, what I had had with me from in my car from um, a previous transaction at your Arby's, I had added that to the Big Mac, and I ate about half of it before I noticed that the Arby's um, horsey sauce had been, it had gone off. It was spoiled. It gone sour. Oh. Yeah, so that ruined my Big Mac. I called McDonald's to try and get a new Big Mac, and they said, call Arby's. If it's, they said, um, if it's their sauce, it's their problem, they said. Oh, is that what they said? Yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, in this situation... It was their sandwich, and, like, I don't know how long your Arby's, the Arby sauce was in your car. You oh, know what I mean? for month, at least weeks, but probably more like months. All right. Is this Richard, by chance? Yeah, what's up, dude? <laughs> Richard, you're, you're How'd you know? Offender. Because I can tell your sex offender voice. Oh, shit, dude. Hey, do you, um, speaking of which, do you want to come over and finger my ass later? Come over and do what to your butt? You can put anything you want in there, buddy. All right, is this not Richard? Who am I talking to right now? This is now? Richard. Come over. Don't call me about it. Just come over and touch my butt without asking, okay? All right. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, bye. Hi, my name is Richard. How are you doing? I'm Richard. Okay. Uh, so, unfortunately, we cannot help you in that situation. Okay. All right. That sounds good. I love you. I love you, too. Have a great day. Bye. Hey, I was making some stuff here at home, and I had a bunch of the uh, horsey sauce left over, and I used that in my in in my home in the cooking here. And like this sauce, there's something not right about it. I think it's expired. Um, but now I got like a big bowl full of casserole here that's all got, has like has expired horsey sauce in it. I, I called the number on the side of the box, and they said they call, call you guys because. They said it was your sauce, your problem, kind of thing. Um, when did you get like the horsey wondering sauce? How, huh? When did you get the horsey sauce? Oh, I have no idea. It was in the drawer. But it all kind, oh. all the sauces, all the ketchups and sauces and mustards and everything, and we used all the Arby sauces, all that, the, the Arby's horsey sauces, and the, the, I think the, I think there was a bunch of them that were expired. Well, if you've had it in there for a while, it's probably expired. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, we need to get like a do-over on this casserole here. Hello. Hi, I'm Kyle speaking. How can I help you? Kyle, how are you doing? Uh, I'm good. How are you, sir? Well, I'm doing okay, but I have a little bit of a problem with one of your products. Oh, absolutely. Um, I hope I can help you solve this. What's going on? I, I hope so too. Um, we're at home, you know. We're I don't know about you guys, but we're kind of like like kind of locked down right now, and um, we were trying to make a potato salad, and we had used about six packages packets. I'm sorry, six packets of the Arby's brand horsey sauce that we have found in the back of the drawer. And after eating a serving of the potato salad, I think that it's the horsey sauce has gone off. Like, it's, uh, it went sour. Um, okay. Um, and now the whole, I, I, sir, I, sir, the whole potato salad is ruined now. So I'm going to have to get, I know you're not, you guys don't have potato salad there, do you? Uh, no, sir, we do okay. not. All right. What's, like, the closest thing that you have to get me replaced here? Um, uh, well, um, I, I I just want to preface this, sir. I don't want to come off sounding as rude. Um, 
but if the product was not something you bought at store, um, there is nothing I can do to be able to replace it. No, it's the little the Arby's sauce packets, the little blue guys with the horsey sauces inside. Uh, yes, sir. I, I, uh, I know. I know about the horsey sauce. Um, was it today that you came through and got them, though, or was it something that you've had for a while and decided to use? It was today that we went and we had got them from the back of the drawer with the other sauces. Okay, but well, um... I don't know when the last time I had gone down there to get them from you guys. Maybe six, eight months ago? Okay, then, um, once again, I don't, uh, I want to preface this. I don't mean to sound rude in any way. Um, but there isn't anything I can help you do. Well, okay, look, I just because I got them a while, sir, there's no expiration date on them, number one. Number two, it, just because it was a while ago doesn't change that it was from your location that I had got them from. So you're still on the hook. It's like, um, what's the, like a statute of limitations, guys. You know what I mean? You guys are on the hook. Yes, sir. Um, all right, no need to raise our voices here. I'm trying to do what I can to help you. Well, I'm getting you. angry. Just, I understand that, sir, but if there is, I'm trying to let you know that if it was a product that you'd gotten today and was bad, there is absolutely something I would be able to do to help you. But what you're telling me is you got these sauces six, eight months ago. Maybe. There is nothing I can do about that because it was your choice to choose to use I those. Just, I know. I just want to do over. I just want to do over on the potato salad. I don't, I don't care how we do it. If we got to switch it out or something for what do you guys have, like potato wedges or... Well, so, yes, sir. I have I have potato cakes. There we go. Let's, let's is, do let's do those instead. Potato well, cakes sir, is if, fine. well, because you did not order a potato salad at our store. No, I was making nothing. it. At, you're not listening because you're not listening to me. I'm making it at home, and I used oh. your stuff as one of okay, the ingredients. Okay, sir, sir. And then the whole recipe is ruined now, just from your sauce. Okay. Everything else was fine. Your sauce ruined it all. Okay, sir. One, I I don't know anything about potato salad, but I don't think you should be putting horseradish in it. Two, if you continue to raise your voice at me, I'm going to hang up. No. And three, I'm trying to do what I can to help you, and you're kind of acting a little rude. Well, you keep saying that allegedly you're not trying to act off as rude yourself, but I feel like you're because, being... Because hey, we're in this conversation of psychology. Rude, I just feel like it's reverse psychology on me. No, it really isn't. I'm saying, hey, I want to help you, but the product you got was eight months old, and now you're trying to get free food out of it. No, I just I'm want trying to, to do I, what I can I'll to give help you, the, you. Sir, I'll give you the bad potato salad so it's an even exchange. I'm I not trying to get one over on you. I don't want the fucking potato salad. God damn! <laughs> Wait, where Hello? did I dialer go? Who? Hello? Hi. Oh, I'm Liz? sorry. I had the thing muted. Is this Arby's? Uh, it, it's not. What happened? Who's Arby's? It says in the book, it says Arby's. Oh, give me one minute. Where's your sandwich? What? Arby's, where's your sandwich? Hello? What? Where is... Your yeah, sandwich. Where's your sandwich? Uh, put the other one on. Put them on. Put them on. Thank you for calling Arby's. This is Sierra. Oh, uh, Sierra, how um how do you know when a sauce has gone like past its prime? How do you know? When I what? Uh, Arby's sauce. I had the Arby's sauce and the horsey sauce. I was using it at home for ingredients. Mhm. I don't. I it was. It had a tang, but the wrong kind of tang. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> let me see. Hold on. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry. I was trying to lift this box up. Oh. Um. It says Best Buy. A820. Oh, well, I had got these about six months, weeks, months ago. So when would those have gone? Oh. Uh, uh, I have no idea. Okay. Because we, we get our freight on Sunday, and we usually go through 
like quite a bit of boxes by then. Oh, well, I've had these for a while. I found them in the back of the... Do you know how sometimes it'll fall back behind the drawer and it'll end up in the crisper in the refrigerator? Yeah. I have found an Arby sauce and some horsey sauce in there, and then I added it into... We were making a potato salad, and I thought it would jazz things up. Mm-hmm. But, no, um, I'm I'm pretty sure the whole potato salad's ruined now. Let me ask oh, you that. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure how long it takes. If I bring this potato salad down there, will you guys, like, replace it with something of equal or lesser value? Um... No, we didn't really make it. Well, it's the Arby sauce, though, that, that put it all off. Um, I'm not sure we can. What do you guys got? Yeah, I heard someone had told me, a man named Kyle had told me that you guys have potato cakes. We have potato cakes. Yeah, can we just do a, an even exchange from my ruined, um, this potato salad with the Arby's in it? And then I'll just take some potato cakes and be on my merry way. Um, I don't think I can do that. I mean, I can Just the call same my boss weight. Like, we can do that. You can weigh it up on the meat scale back there, and we'll do them up at the same amount, just the same, per ounces. I know, but where we did not make it. Like, well, okay. What do you. Okay, well, then what do you suggest? Do you think that I should, what, get a strainer and rinse off all this RB sauce off the potatoes and start anew? Because that's not going to work. That's going to ruin it. It's ruined. Well, I'm not sure what I could do. That's why I said I could call my boss and ask. You should know. If you're the one who's in charge, you should know. I don't think there's any way to repair this potato cell. We're going to have to replace it. And if you have a better idea than potato cakes, I'm all ears. But that's as far as I've got so far. Okay, but we did not tell you to put the RB sauce in the potato salad. And you didn't tell me not to either. So, that's a, I mean, it's that's liability. Thing, like, it's like a liability. It's customer for corporate negligence and it's a liability on you guys because I used it. I did it. You can't stop me. I did it. And now you're on the hook for it. Okay, well, like I said, I could call the general manager and ask her. Can you do a three-way call? I um, want to speak with her, too. I don't think... I can't do it on the work phone. Is it a landline? Is this a landline? I'm not sure. Is it a cordless phone or is it corded? It's like cordless. Oh, is there like a green send button? Or a dial yes. button? If you press that and then dial the manager's number and then press it again, we'll be on three-way call together. I'll hold. Okay, let's... So press the send, dial her number, and then press send again. That way there'll be no confusion. Just the three of us can figure it out. Hello, this is the boss. Hi, yeah, I was calling down to the Arby store there. Hey, Barbie, Matt. Hey, uh, do you guys uh, swap out expired sauce packets? I don't believe so. I mean, if I had like, just a couple like ex sauce packets, I just want to get those swapped out so I can use them in my, you know, they're, they're just old ones. I had them from before. I just want to get some like new ones. Like I'll, I'll get like new food. I just want to get like some of these swapped out for some new ones. I'm not gonna swap them out. You can just I can't do anything with them, so just throw them away, and then I'll just give you some packets when you get your new food. Well, I just want to get some of these swapped out. I have about five thousand of them. I want to get swapped out. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen, bud. 
What do you mean? No, I have them from before, but they're just expired now. I just figured, you know, you guys could just help me out here and get them swapped out. I I can't give you 5,000 sauce packets. Listen, McDonald's said it was your sauce, your problem, so I have to get the sauce swapped out. This is Arby's, so... No. I know. I'm not giving you 5,000 packets of sauce, sir. No, I'm exchanging it. I, I'm not exchanging I can't do anything with it. I don't even have 5,000 yes, sauce packets here. I'm not asking you to do anything with it. I need to get an exchange for good sauce packets. These are all expired. I can't use them. And I can't give you 5,000 sauce packets, sir. I'm not, and you don't have to well, give them to me. I'm exchanging them. With, for what? I, I, I have a case of these here that are no good. I have to get these exchanged for good ones. I don't have anything to exchange you with. No sauce packets. I'm not giving you sauce packets. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what you're trying to get. This is an exchange. There is no exchange happening. We need to stop exchange. Your sauce packets are no good anymore. I can't eat these. Okay, then throw them the hell away. I can't do anything with them. And I'm not giving you 5,000 more. I'm sorry. I'm 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 hanging up the phone. I have customers I'm taking care of. Goodbye. I need to get good sauce packets. I can't get my sauce packets. Carthage, this is Sally. How may I help you? Hey, Carthage. This is Arby's. Um, where is your guys' sandwich? I don't have it here on the reports. I'm sorry? This is Arby's. Where is your sandwich? Hello? Uh, Carthage. This is Carthage Arby's, yes. Yes, yes. Where is your sandwich? I don't have it on the reports. This is Arby's. Which Arby's? No, this is Arby's. Where's the sa- where's your sandwich? I have everyone else's, but where's your sandwich? Clinton Arby's is Michaela. Hey, um, I was wondering, what's the matter? Are your like, do you have au- the automatic doors turned off or something? Do what? I couldn't get in down there earlier. Um, our lobby is closed. Oh, no, I wasn't there to eat in the lobby at all. What was that? I was trying to go inside. Inside? Yeah, for outside, though. Um, Okay, let me start over. Is there a place to hook up a hose out there on the outside of the Um, building? Because I just wanted to run a hose from inside, that's all. I'm not sure. I just needed to splash down a little bit. Ma'am? Yes? I wasn't there to eat. What were you here for? To splash down with a hose. I don't think we have... That's what I'm saying. Okay, so if I come back around, you'll let me in and I can hook up the hose then? I'm not allowed to let anyone in that doesn't work here. Can we just crack the door and just put the hose in and I'll give you the adapter and you can hook it up to the nozzle on the inside? I... I can't do that, I'm sorry. Why not? It's just a hose. <sighs> if you go on Twitter, it's under hashtag hose. You'll see it. <laughs> it's like a garden hose, but it's a little more, it's like thicker. It's industrial strength. I have to go. I have a order. I'm sorry. Okay, I love you. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Bye. Chris. Hi. Thanks for calling. Hi. Ex- oh, you're welcome. Thank you for calling the extended say no art to Cheryl, how may I help you? Hi, I've been using the garden hose out back to shower and things, uh and I noticed it's been taken away. Is that um with with the deck it moved somewhere else or um I have no idea, sir. What because they're you doing you know, 'cause 'cause are supposed to be like distancing and stay away, you know, and then like 'cause they'd use the shower and I've been using the hose out back and now the hose is gone. Okay, what room are you in? Is it, no, this is outside. I, I, is there like... I understand that, but what I'm, room are you I in? I don't even see where to hook it up anymore. I mean, like, I, I, I just... I, I saw the hose there. I didn't see where it went. There is another valve, but the whole thing's gone. I have no idea, sir. Ma'am, hello? You- I can barely hear you. Hello? Yes? Yes, the hose. Where I, I can't find the connection. 
I don't know where it's at, sir. It's like a big, like a big pussy vagina thing on speakerphone or something. I don't remember. Okay, I'm a little bit pissed off here because I got the sandwiches from up there and everything. I got them home, and then I spilled mustard all over the goddamn place. Who's going to pay for this? Mustard? Yes. There's mustard all over my pants. There's some on the carpet. It's it's all over the food. Are you being serious? Yeah. What the... What? Why would I... What do you mean? There's nothing funny about mustard. No, there's not. What are we going to do here? Is this the manager? It is. Okay. I got mustard all over the goddamn place. And that's my fault because... It's Arby's. I went to Arby's and I got food. And then I got... When I got home, I got the mustard. And now it's all over. Okay. But it's not really our responsibility after it leaves the restaurant. What the fuck? Who's... What? So what? Who's is... If I had not got your sandwich, I wouldn't have got out the mustard and I wouldn't have spilled it. Okay, then why didn't you just not get the sandwich? Because I'm fucking hungry. I don't have any food here. We're on lockdowns. Jesus. Well, maybe you should be more careful when you're eating. I was careful when I was eating. I wasn't careful when I was getting the mustard. Are you even listening? Yeah. Are hungry. you? Yes, I am. Yeah. Go ahead. Hit me. Go ahead. Hit me with some information <laughs> then. I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm just wondering how it's my fault that you spilled your mustard. Arby's sandwich. It's a big beef and cheddar. If there was no okay, big beef and cheddar, there, the mustard, mustard would still be... I know. I got it out of the fridge. If the big beef and cheddar, if I hadn't got it, if it wouldn't have been from Arby's, the mustard would still be in the fridge. Wouldn't be all over the goddamn place. Okay, well, that's your own problem. What do you Not mean? even our mustard. No, it's my mustard, but it's all over the fucking exactly. place. Exactly. Your mustard, you spilled it, your mess. No, uh, RB sandwich. RB sandwich, Bill. All right, I'm about to hang up. What kind of shoes are you wearing? <laughs> You're asking me this because... I'm just wondering. What about your parents? Are they married, divorced? What's going on there? What, you think you're some kind of cool psychologist? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out what makes you work. Yeah, well, that's funny because I actually am studying psychology, so... Okay, would you rather be um, an old VCR or a rubber tree? I'd rather plant? hang up the phone, bye. No, I love you. Hi, do you guys have the boots on? I'm sorry? Do you guys have the, the shoe boots? Uh, you know, the shoe boots? Do you guys, are you guys wearing the boots right now? Wearing boots? No, we're wearing our non-slip the, shoes. I don't know. The shoe the shoe boots, you know, for... You, you know what I'm talking about? Like the shoe boot no, things? No, I don't. Right, you're not wearing them right now? <laughs> no, I just want to start asking people about their shoes and just... Hayden Arby's. Hi, who do I got here? I'm sorry, what was that? What was your name? Caitlin. Are you the manager? Yeah, Arby's. Okay, um, do, what is your supervisor, like your superior, what is their name? Tracy. Okay, yeah, I'm, that's, that was it, that's who I'm calling about. Do you know what size shoe she wears? I'm trying to get her a present. Um, no. <laughs> yeah, well, can you make a guess? Because she's um, always behind the counter. I don't really get to see her feet at all. I just want to get her some shoes. Probably, I'd say, like, a nine. Okay. And then what do you think I, I think should get her? Like, Nikes or what? What kind of shoes do you think she would like? Like like I said, I don't ever get to see her feet. I don't know what she wears. Um. Yeah, probably Nikes. Okay. Um. Do you know what her favorite color is, by chance? I think it's blue. She well, does how about have this? blue in her hair, so I'm how about this? blue. What color, like, what does her car look like? Maybe that can give us some insight. It's a, it's a white car. It's a white car. What kind? Like a Honda, I think? Um, no. Yeah. Uh, she drives, uh, her car is a Nissan, and the other one is oh. a uh, big truck. 
a Nissan in a truck. Okay, all right, right. And then does she like was was that hockey that she's into? She likes hockey. Was that it? Uh, yeah, she likes hockey. Okay, yeah, that's right. I knew it. Okay, so I'll get her some Nike hockey shoes. Yeah. If I give them to her, will you like um will you hide it in her pockets? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. If you could maybe also just give her... Well, no, you probably shouldn't give her a hug. You guys got a social distance down there, huh? Yeah. Okay, never mind on that, but we'll do the rest, okay? All right. All right, and then I'll I'll just, you know, I'll go out and I'll sniff her car, but not when she's near it, so then that way we're respecting social distance, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. I love you. Oh, bye. Speedway eighty sixty two. This is Taylor. How can I help you? Hi Taylor. Um, listen, um, I'll, I'll I'll be I'll be quick. Um, I, I was I've, I've been trying to get into your email, but like your security questions are just way too good. I I don't know like any of these security questions. Do you think you could help me out? <laughs> right. No. I mean, what can I, I help you with? Worked- I thought it'd be worth a shot. I mean, like your, you know, like your your uh, cat's maiden name and um, where your mother, what street she grew up on, or whatever, or whatever these security questions are. I just can't get. Like, I got everything else. I just can't get past these. Mm. Is there anything I can actually help you with? Oh yeah, just uh, either just okay, can I just have the passport or just you know, I mean, just let me in or whatever. I'm sorry, sir, but this is a business. If you're not calling for a business-related issue, I'm going to have to hang up. Ma'am, this is my business, though. I'm doing my job. Speedway 863, how can I help you? Who do I got here? My name is Randy. Hey, Randy. Um, Okay, this is going to sound just a little bit weird, but I found a loophole in the law. And as long as I get your permission first, it's completely legal. Do you mind if I steal your identity? No. You don't mind? No, obviously I do mind. Well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Um, as long as I have your permission to steal your identity, it's not a crime at all. And I'm not trying to commit a crime. I, I'm not doing that. I'm not at all. I, I just, I always follow the law. No, and the law no, is. I'm good. Thank you. If I, well... <sighs> On 17th. Hi, um, Hi. how you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Uh, I'm doing okay. Hey, I just need you to uh, consent to the disagreement. I cannot do that. Oh, no, it's okay. It's just there's going to be a disagreement coming up uh, shortly, and um, it's going to be unavoidable, but I need you to go ahead and consent to that before we can continue. I cannot. So Please and thanks. Can I have you call us back Please later? and thanks, thanks, ma'am. No, it's just um, it's just a disagreement. Um, so I need you to uh, just go ahead and consent, so we can go forward. And I'll just I'll be out of your hair. That's all I need, ma'am. I cannot give you consent to anything. So you're refusing to consent to the disagreement? Is that disagreement. what you're telling me, ma'am? Ma'am. Is there somebody else who could maybe consent to the disagreement? If you're not going to cooperate, you know, we got other people we can get it. Arby's on Broadway. Hey, how you doing, Arby's? Uh, my name is Mike Jones. Are you able to give me legal consent for, a, um, like, just a disagreement? I'm sorry? Are you able to give me legal consent for to begin a disagreement? Um, can, you, can you consent to disagree, basically? Uh, sure. Oh. I, well, I'm okay. sorry. I'm well, okay, no. What, I, what? Well, no, just to consent for the disagreement, because we're not going to be able to get, like, on the same page at all, and I don't want to start dragging you into something that you don't legally agree to. I just need your legal, like, your consent, like a verbal signature on the dotted line for the lawyer. Well, it depends It depends on what it is, because it's, I'm I'm only a manager. I'm not the general manager. Right, right, but it'll be a disagree. It's like it's going to be a legal disagreement. 
Would you be okay just calling tomorrow morning? No. Because I can't, I can't no. give you the answer for that. No, I'm not going to call tomorrow morning. We're going to handle this now. There's going to be a disagreement, and you have to be able to be a willing participant. Otherwise, it's not fair. Well, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't answer that. No, you're going to have to. Know. You're going to have to. Because I don't know what it's about. So if, it's, if I don't know what it's no, about, it's I can't tell you. No, it's a disagreement. We're just going to be disagreeing. You're going to be saying one thing, and I'm going to contradict you. That's it. It's not a big deal. But what's it for? No, I can't tell you that. Well, I can't answer that. I'm sorry. No, you, ha- you have to. No, you're going to have to. I don't have to. Yes, you do. What's it for? No, I'm not telling you what it's for. Then I don't have to answer because I don't know what it's for. And I'm sorry, we're busy right now. So if you no, can just call no, back tomorrow morning. No, I'm going to no, you. you're going nice to disagree night. with me. No, you're going to disagree with me. Thank you for calling the Orchard Arby's. This is Alex. How may I help you? Hi, uh, I just, I, I don't even know how to start this, but I mean, like, I need to let you know that, like, you're going to disagree with me. I'm sorry? I, I don't know how to phrase this, but I mean, like, I, I you're, you're going to disagree with me. Okay. Well, yeah, you're going to, like, you guys as Arby's are going to completely disagree with me. Okay, well, what can I help you with? Oh no! I mean, this is gonna be a completely. I guess it's gonna be a big disagreement and everything. And I, I, I just need to get permission, and hopefully, you could sign some forms I could uh, bring down there for the disagreement. Hello. I'm sorry. I just don't understand what you're trying to say. Oh no! This is a, it's gonna be a formal disagreement, and I just. I mean, there's nothing we can really do. It. I mean, it's out of our hands. I mean, it's a. I'm sorry, it's just a disagreement. I need to get these forms signed for the uh, uh, to make it official. Uh, can I ask your name? Oh, uh, Alex. Hey, Mason. 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 Oh. I'm pretty sure this is Caleb. Ask him a question. Just ask him a question. What? Ask him issue. What's the issue? Oh, uh, I'm just calling about. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say, it. it's an official disagreement. Um, I'm going to be in disagreement with you guys. I need to get a couple of forms signed. I was hoping that I could come down there and get these uh, these forms signed for the disagreement, just to make it all official and everything. All right. Well, when you get up here, we can talk more about it. No, 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 not talk. I need to get these signed. It's for the dis- it's for the disagreement. For the disagreement? Yeah, I have. I'm I have. Sorry. A I'm I'm not quite sure what you're talking about, but I could probably call my manager and see what's up. Oh no, no, no! I have the records here. Uh, it's something to do with a uh, a Caleb. I think I'm going through the paperwork here. Does that does that ring a bell? Caleb. Yeah, I'm not it's, sure. It's, it's, uh, Caleb works down at Clarkson Arby's. Uh, if oh, you want to give him a call, then. No, no, this is a disagreement here. Hello. Yeah, just, yeah. Hello. I got. Uh, what? What happened? Um, who's this now? I'm sorry. I was just letting you talk to another supervisor. I just don't understand what you need from me. Oh, if okay. uh, no, you want to come I, up and talk I, to me, then that will be okay. But I can't continue this conversation over the phone. Oh, no, no. I don't want to continue the conversation. I just want to get these forms signed for the disagreement. Well, unfortunately, you won't tell me what the disagreement is. So oh, no. forms. You have to read the forms and you sign the disagreement. You have to. And I you don't know what forms you're talking about. And me being only a supervisor, I don't have the authority to sign any forms. I don't have, have the authority to, to discuss it without a signature. Well, then you're going to have to come up here so I can give you no, a signature. Then we're, right, then we're right back at it. I mean, because, like, I have to get this signed so I, can, I, I can't disclose it without a signature. I can't disclose a disagreement. Uh, uh, excuse me. I, I can't disclose the disagreement, ma'am. Oh, 
Okay, well, uh, if you want to give me your name and number, I can write you down and have a note for my boss to look at tomorrow. No, I can't. She can figure this all out for you. No, I can't. No, no, we can't do that. We, I guess I get these signed. I have the munch. I got to go. Like, the show's on. Like, we're, we got we got limited time here. We got to wrap this up. Okay, sir. Well, I'm really sorry that I can't help you, but if you want to call back tomorrow, we can get this figured out for you, okay? I'm going to I'm gonna hang up the phone now, okay? Hurry up. All right. Jesus. Hurry up. <laughs> Thank you for calling Lewis and Arby's. This is Stephanie. How can I help you? Hey, Devaney, were you aware that I was calling you to for the argument of, uh, at, I was supposed to call about five minutes ago. Were you aware of that, that I was calling for the argument? For what? I'm Are so you sorry. aware? Did they let you know that I was calling for the argument? No. Okay, because that's not what I heard. From what I understand, you knew that I was going to call for the argument. <laughs> Thank you for calling Moscow Arby's. This is Kaylee. How may I help you? Hey. Okay. What was the argument clinic is? I'm sorry? The, at the argument clinic is supposed to be held there today. I'm having a hard time understanding you. Could you repeat the that? Argu- the, the argument clinic is supposed to be held there today. What time? Um, I'm I'm not under. I don't think we have anything held here today. No, no, the argument clinic is definitely held there today. An argument clinic? Yes, we're definitely. Yeah, it's definitely there today. One hundred percent sure. Okay. Yeah. Yep. There will be. N- there's no grouping of any kind. No, there's definitely so. an argument clinic there today. There's definitely a, a. There's definitely 100% a clinic today. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm the what, manager here. What time and I, are you I, unlocking the door? What's that? What time are you unlocking the door for the argument clinic? It's, it's My a doors clinic. are unlocked. No, no, for the clinic in the room. Um, this is Moscow Arby's. I'm not sure if you've got the wrong phone number. No, this is correct. This is the right spot. You said the right thing. That was 100% correct. This is for the argument clinic. Okay, and who's, who am I speaking to? Alex. I'm, this is for the argument clinic. I'm supposed to head down there, and, like, there's supposed to be the clinic down there tonight. Well, not tonight, nope. but for, to tomorrow. Wrong phone number, what, sorry. What, what time is it open? I'm not familiar. I'm not understanding what you're asking for, so I'm going to say no, that you've you got the wrong do. phone number. No, you said no. This is the right one, and you need to tell me what's going on. I'm not sure what's going on. It's the argument clinic. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's going on right know. now, if you ask me. What do you mean right now? If you, I don't think so. I, feel I, I need like to we're get to in the an argument. <laughs> no, ma'am. Just try and get to the, ma'am, this is the information to the argument clinic. I need to get to the argument clinic. Okay, I have no idea how you're going to get there, but it's not here. Damn, oh, ma'am, I'm trying to get to the argument clinic, please. I think you just got to find your own way. No. No. (laughs) Have a great day. No, you can't make me. I'm so sorry, but I got to go. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Pilot Travel Centers is Brian. How can I help you? Oh, I thought this was Arby's. No, sir. Where's Arby's? Um, let me see. Well, maybe you can help me. What's that? Do you know how Arby's, like the meats, will react with a bleach solution? Do you know what'll happen? Like if you put the meat in a bleach solution? Yeah, yeah. If I like do a sw- wash, like rinse it down in like a shallow pan of bleach and water. Uh, it's gonna be inedible. I I wouldn't eat something that came out of bleach, to be honest. I wouldn't put the meat through a bleach solution. Okay, is that like just a personal preference? Because I heard it would be good. Not only would it not be unsafe, but it would be good for you to be safe on that. Uh, No, sir. I mean, you can read the batch of a bleach bottle. It's not for you. Well, I know, but yeah, that's, that's like fake stuff. I saw this on YouTube. They said that you mix it down and then you put it in there. Okay, well, um, I mean, that's your personal preference, but 
I would follow the recommendations on the back of a bleach bottle before I'd listen to a YouTube video. So. Well, no, but I'm asking about the Arby's, the Arby's sandwich meat. Not the bread or anything. I would not would put get, it through that a would bleach get soggy. solution. If I put the bread into the bleach solution, it would get soggy. I'm not about to do that. I'm not stupid. But I'm thinking, though, just if I was to rinse it down with bleach and water, that's how they sanitize all like the utensils and stuff. What's the difference? Okay. Uh, I've already told you the recommendations on the back of the bleach bottle. So uh, that's all I can is, tell you. Who is this, by the way? What do I have here? Is this a truck stop or something? Yep. Okay. And you don't have Arby's in there at all? Yeah, we do. Uh, then why, why are you authorized to give me recommendations for their food like this? Are you, are you the person in charge of Arby's? Uh, I wouldn't be ingesting chemicals. Well, no, I'm going to tell you the same thing, sir. With the Arby's, I'm not just going to drink. Okay, the sir, bleach. I've already answered your question, so. Not really. No, you gave you me. You have opinion. a good evening. No. Arby's on the Boulevard, Desert. How may I help you? Hey, Arby's. Uh... <sighs> We, we, listen, we, we, we've been having an issue with the bells. Is your bell, like, still working? Like, I know, like, the, the libraries are closed and everything, but, like, is the bell still there? The bell? The bell. Like, you know, like people, you know the bell that people used to hit in the lobby? Oh, yeah. Is it still there? What like, you guys it? still have it? Yeah. yeah. Does it still work? Yeah. All right, because we're getting reports that people are telling us it's not working anymore. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> they said, no, I mean, and let me explain. I'm an independent podcaster, and they said the strings are all broken and all kinds of lies and everything. Could you get, Could you just go ring the, oh, you fucking prick. Hi, Rick for Garby. Ricky speaking. How can I help you? Hey, is the lobby, is that closed down there, or what's going on? Um, the lobby, so we allow for carryout, but we don't have any place for you to sit. Oh, someone had told me that the lobbies were closed because someone had let, like, a frog loose in there and no one could find it? Is that what's going on? Um, no, it's closed because of the coronavirus. So there's not a frog loose in there at all? N- not that I've been told. I don't think there's a frog in the restaurant. Okay, because uh, I don't want to get, I don't want to come down there and then there's, I look down, there's a frog by my foot. That's fucking disgusting. You guys, I agree. Uh, There's no frog in the restaurant. Have you looked around, though? Because, I mean, if no one's in there sitting down, that's a lot of places where a frog could hide, I'm thinking. I don't know where the frog would have come from. I don't either, and that's why I don't want to run into him. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but we're really busy right now, but I promise there's not a frog in the restaurant. Is it, okay, I know I'm not allowed to eat there. Is it okay if I come down and just look for a frog? There's no frog. Um, can I look around to make sure, though, before I order Sandpoint, Arby's, this is Trevor. Hey, where's your sandwich? What sandwich, I'm sorry? Yeah, where's your sandwich? Uh, I'm calling for the deal. Oh, we have the two for six for the, it's a mix and match. You can do the crispy chicken, the beef and cheddar. No, no. No, not that. I said, where's where's your sandwich? My sandwich? Yeah. I'm confused. I'm doing. I'm I'm calling for the deal, like to make the the place to order. You just want to order sandwiches then? Yeah, I want to. I want the. Where's your sandwich? This is Arby's, right? Yeah. Yeah, where's your sandwich? Like, where are we at? No, I want two. Two sandwiches? No, goddamn, no. I want the where's your sandwich. I want two of the where's your sandwich. Okay. Yeah, I want, yeah, where's your sandwich? <laughs> Why is that so fucking funny? This premise has no business being that funny. Thank you for calling Arby's. My name is Jamie. You want to try one of our uh, fish sandwiches today? Uh, Arby, is your, yeah, where is your sandwich? Um, It is on, I guess, being cooked. <laughs> How can I help uh, oh, you? Oh, because I'm... 
Well, I'm no, because I'm looking for it. Because uh, earlier I was over there, and I, now I can't find the sandwich. Where? Um, because I wanted to get it, but I went and I looked, and I couldn't find it. So where's your sandwich? I guess I'm a little confused about what's going on. <laughs> I'm confused too. I mean, because I so went down there. <laughs> so you're missing a sandwich? Wait. Well, I thought I was. I went down there, right, to Arby's. Uh huh. And where's where's your sandwich? Well, I mean, hopefully it's in your bag if you ordered anything. Oh, I don't, I don't. I don't take a bag, no. Um, but where, like, because I went, I went down there, and I had my money, um, and then I just, I wanted the sandwich, and I couldn't find it. Okay. Um, I guess I'm a little confused about, how, like, what sandwich well, are you missing? Do you, like, where do you keep, What can, can you tell me where do you keep yours? Where's your personal sandwich, like the personal sandwich that you have. I don't have a personal sandwich because I haven't ordered anything for me to eat today. Well, uh, okay, but when you do, when you when you sandwich, where where is yours? Um, Usually in my stomach because I eat it. Oh, no. In your stomach. Okay. In your stomach. That's good. But, um, like, but where is it ever somewhere else? Like, where do you... Before, like, um, I mean, it's usually in the wrapper that it's made in, in in a bag until I can eat it. I didn't see a wrapper either. No, I'm really confused. Okay, I know this might be mean, but are you like joshing with me? Because I guess I'm really confused about what's no, going on. No, 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 ma'am, no, I would never, I would never. I I just like I'm really trying to get this figured out because like I with this Arby's you know I always heard about Arby's and the sandwich and I just want to know where the sandwich is I'm not 100% not joshing with you at all I would hate that that would be horrible um I mean I guess it hasn't been made for you sir uh, is there any really anything I can help you with the, the sandwich. Um, do you have a reason for the thanks. sandwich you're missing? No, no. No, I couldn't find the sandwich. Which sandwich? We have a, tons of them. We have gyros, we have chicken, roast beef. Well, no, you said fish. I thought you said it was a fish. We have fish sandwiches first, as well, but... Yeah, it was the first thing you said to me. You said your name was Jamie, and you loved me, and here's a fish sandwich. I'm pretty sure I've never said I loved anybody through the drive-thru. Wait, what? No, that's not what I said. Did you Did you think I said uh, love? <laughs> no, no, that's silly. I would never say a thing like that. That I'm would that sounds like me. You to my, that sounds to me uh, like something up? somebody who is joshing with you would say. <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah. Um, is there anything I can help you with, sir? Like, I really got to get back to work and help my crew. Well, yeah, I need the sandwich. Where's the sandwich? Um, if you have your receipt and you can come back through drive through I can definitely repay you. Well, I didn't know. I didn't, I couldn't find the sandwich. Why would I have a receipt? Ma'am? Um, sir, I'm, I guess I'm really confused about why you think you're, if you're missing a sandwich, if you don't have a receipt because you didn't purchase one. Oh, um, wait a minute, like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. I just found it. It's in my pocket. I <laughs> had the fine, sandwich sir. in my pocket <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> All right. Is there anything I can help you with, sir? <laughs> the whole time it was in my pocket. Can you believe that? Um, no, sir, I can't. I can't either. <laughs> Is there anything else I can help <laughs> you with today? Um, yeah, I want a fish sandwich. All right, uh, you'd have to come through drive through uh, They are two for six right now, and you'd be able to purchase it for six thirty six for two crispy fish. Okay, um, well, I'll probably see you later then. I love you. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Hi, this is Chris Beacon. How can I help you? Hey, Crispy. Um, 
I am, first of all, I'm looking, I'm wondering where your sandwich is, and then I have a list of about 21 names here that I'm going to read you, and if you could just tell me if you know who they are, please. Okay. All right, I ha- I'll just read through all 20 of them. All right, 21, just real quick here. I have Crispy 808, Snappy Bakes, Graveyard Goons, HMM, Ronk, Axpa, Wasted Memory, Default Urine, Farmer Bill, Major Tinnitus, Danielle, Phone Losers of America, Bucket of Walnuts, Nico, Experts, Seven, Larry Bird, Snails, 69, Brian G, Snacks, and Kelvin N. Do you know who those people are? Do not. Those are my Patreon supporters. Hooray! They're over at patreon.com slash dragomir supporting me every month by giving me at least a dollar or more and making it possible for me to make wonderful prank phone calls like this. Did you have fun? A it wasn't really... Good. I ain't gonna lie. It wasn't even really a prank. Really. I no. was just reading the list of names. Yeah. But to you on the phone and now you're involved. It's, I don't even know if it's funny. That's what the, the beauty of it is. I just make phone calls. I don't even know if they're funny. Oh. And yeah. they pay you for this? Oh, hell yeah, they do. You can go over to patreon.com slash dragomir, and there'll be some links to my content, some stuff you can listen to for free. And uh, eventually, yeah. you know, it'll be good. But, yeah, no, I was just, for the, everyone who's listening, because I got about 30, there's about 28 people listening right now, and I just wanted to thank everyone who's supporting me, you know? Oh, all right. For the pipe cast. All right. Okay. Well, I love you. Love you, too, and you have a good day. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you- Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah, hello? Is this, is this Arby's? You have the wrong number. Oh, how are you, though? Oh. Call it back. Hello. Oh, okay. See, I wasn't sure if we had dialed the number wrong or if um, we had the number for the Arby's had changed. So this isn't the Arby's then, is it? No, it isn't. Okay, but let me ask you, where's your sandwich? Where's your sandwich? I'm new here, so I can't tell you. Where's your sandwich? What is it? Where are you? What's going on? (laughs) No. (laughs) 